for this activity, you're going to need some paper, scissors, and glue. We're going to turn a stick figure into a shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the color I want for my stick figure, and I'm going to pick green paper. If you don't have different color paper, you could do the same activity, just color the paper on the other side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a shape a stick figure doing something that I like to do in the winter. So I'm going to draw a stick figure throwing snowballs. I love throwing snowballs. Maybe I'm running and throwing snowballs. So here's my arm. I'm going to throw the snowball. And then where does my other arm go? Straight out of pointing at somebody I'm throwing it to. So then what I'm gonna do after I have my stick figure, I'm gonna draw around my stick figure. Like I'm a crazy driver, just drive around the stick figure. And then I'm going to cut that out. As I'm cutting, I'm moving the paper on the line towards the scissors. My scissors stay in one spot and they're just going open and shut with a thumb up. Cutting and gluing is optional in this project. I'm going to show you another way to do this project after I complete the collage part with just white paper and crayons. And then turn it over and I have my stick figure. Then what I'm going to do with the rest of my paper is I want to put it on a background. I'm going to use my blue sky background. And then I'm going to cut a horizon line. Instead of coloring it, I'm going to cut a horizon line. And I'm going to glue. Then I'm gonna glue my figure on. To my background. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add lines for movement. I'm gonna add three lines where my parts of my body will be moving the legs and the arms. So those are the parts that are moving. And then I'm going to use the remainder of my white paper. And I'm going to put a snowball in there in the hand. A really big snowball. I'm gonna cut little pieces of the white paper and glue them in the sky like it's snowing. And then I'm done. I have a Keith Haring snowball thrower. In the related arts packet, there's a Keith Haring coloring sheet with all different examples of different movements that he drew. Also, there's white paper that if you didn't have the construction paper, you could do this similar thing on white paper. Turn a stick figure into a shape. Watch how I could do that now. What I would do is I would pick the color that I would want my person to be. For example, if I still wanted to be green and I could draw my stick figure, maybe this stick figure is skiing. And we'll just draw the skis on there. 
And then what I would do is I would go around the stick figure and the skis. And then after I go all the way around, I'm gonna just color it in. This is another way to make a Keith Herring figure. But I wanna remember one of the most important parts of his pictures are the black lines for movement. So where would the, this picture be moving? Near the skis. Also, I think when you ski, you need poles. So maybe I need those too. I could add those in. And then I could draw a blue line for the horizon line or the sky. This guy's going down a hill, so a blue horizon line. And then I could color everything up here, blue, down to the white ground. You could add other figures in this picture too. You could do it large to fill the space, or you could just do it small and have a few figures. It's up to you, it's your art. Either way you do this project, don't forget the most important step. Sign it like an artist. Okay, it's your turn to work. Can't wait to see your figures.